Hi, this is Hui Xu from Inardo Music. In this video, I will discuss the G sharp minor triad arpeggio. A triad arpeggio consists of a three note broken chord with the first, third, and fifth notes in the scale. G sharp minor triad arpeggio notes are G sharp, B, and D sharp. From G sharp to B is a minor third interval. From B to D sharp is a major third interval. This is the G sharp minor triad. Based on these three notes, we play them one after another, up and down. For playing arpeggio, I recommend to play in 16th note groups, as you can see on the screen. When you practice arpeggios with a metronome, there is a common problem. Many students play three notes per group with one metronome beat, like this. If your score is marked with four notes per group arpeggio pattern, the correct way is one metronome beat equals four notes, like this. The fingerings for the G-sharp minor triad arpeggio is same as F-sharp minor and C-sharp minor triad arpeggios, and it begins on the black key. The left hand fingering is 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2. Every time when we arrive on G-sharp, we use second finger. For right hand fingering, every time when we arrive on G sharp, we use fourth finger. Fourth finger on G sharp. Fourth finger on G sharp. There is another option of fingering for right hand. Finger two can be used to play the G sharp note at the beginning and ending of the arpeggio. You may see on the screen that I marked the notes with optional fingerings with blue. Another hint in the fingerings of G sharp minor triad arpeggio, we use both hands thumb to play the note B. Thumbs play the note B. Also suggest you practice hand separately with only one or two octaves to be able to secure accuracy of notes. After you're comfortable playing the G sharp minor triad arpeggio hand separately, you may practice hands together. Practice one or two octaves at a time. For example, If everything is correct, and then add another octave. After you're comfortable playing the four octave ascending passage, use the same method to practice descending passage. After practicing the parallel motion arpeggio, do contra motion as well. 
Practicing every arpeggio with counter motion will help you develop some basic hand independence and coordination. Now let me demonstrate the counter motion arpeggio in G sharp minor. I hope this video is helpful for you to practice the G sharp minor triad arpeggio. If you have any questions, you may leave comments for me. Please share with your friends if you like the video. I will see you next time.